Destroy him, my robot. Hi guys, welcome to my video. We're going to build a little robot from scratch. We uh, got the robot robot dog! Yeah, exactly. Making robots normally is very hard and time consuming. Also, you need a lot of skills. Most people probably don't even try because of this. So in this video, I want to show you that you can start building robots quick and easy. But to do that, we need to keep it simple, extremely simple. Once we have created a very simple robot. One piece of slimy now. Right, and have had some fun with it. Maybe you will feel it's not impossible anymore to think about building a little bit more complex robot. Robocat is afraid of the little robot. Yeah, that's right. So building the robot in the video does not take that long, but there's still a lot of detail to talk about. So this is a video in several parts. Oh, the detail! <laughs> I hope you enjoy, so let's start. So what you see in front of you is a breadboard. And the breadboard is full with holes and it's filled with um, these um, rows and with these columns. And they're all interconnected. So what you can do is you can put this type of wires, you can just push them in. So this top row here, it's connected to this red wire to the battery. This is the plus. So connect this wire to the plus and anywhere else on the board, for example, like so. And if I want to connect, for example, a little um, yeah, LED light emitting diode, I can just put it in with one feet in the same row as the wire and the other feet um, over this little barrier here. So the feet don't connect. And to complete the circuit, I could, for example, put in a little resistor here and I can just push it in here in the same column again as the lead from the um, LED. And I can put it, the, the feet in another hole uh, down there, which is the, the ground rail. And now you see the circuit is working. It's uh, really, really fast to make a circuit like this. You can also change it really fast. For example, you can pull out the cable. Uh, you say, maybe I should get the power from here because I want to optimize the, the space a little bit here. And right, now I have changed the circuit and uh, just took a few seconds. So this is what we're going to use for the robot. Um, and it should be really, really simple. So stay tuned. In front of you, you see a lot of parts that I need to build this little robot. Um, you need to start with something like this, like a lid of an ice cream box. Uh, I use this as the body of the robot. It's really, really cheap. Then you need some wheels like this. Then you need some motors, some electrical motors like that. These are geared motors. You need a battery connector like that. You need a whole bunch of electrical wires. You need some electrical components, like these light sensitive diodes, an LED, a few resistors, and an audio amplifier chip. This is a really cheap chip. It's the brain of this little robot. Then you need some tools, screwdriver, scissors, electrical tape, and double sided tape. You need a battery and Last thing is you need a breadboard to put the electrical components on. Okay, let's start to put everything together then. We start with the frame and we attach the motors to the frame. And then we will attach the wheels to the motors. And we put the breadboard on top of the frame. And after that, we will put the electronics here on the breadboard. And we also install the battery, of course and then we should be all good to go. So let's start with the motors then. So if you look at the motor, it has some tiny, tiny, tiny holes there. Let's see if you can see it somehow. Yeah, there you can see it. And in there we put these little tiny, tiny, tiny little screws to mount it all to the frame. So first thing to do is put the little screw through the hole that you can see here. And then align the motor, the hole in the motor to the little screw. And then screw it together. So yeah, now it's through the little hole in the frame. Align these two little guys. So yeah, it's aligned. Yes. 
screw it together. You may wonder there's two holes here. Why do I only screw one together? Well, this is a 20 minutes robot after all. And time is of the essence. And also, you would need to create a bit more of a construction because there's nothing that um, this hole will fit against right now. So the second motor, take out the screw, put the screw through the hole. Excuse me for being so clumsy. Excuse me for being so clumsy. And just screw it together. It should be quite tight, but not too tight. You don't want to damage the, the threading in the hole. Um, now put the wheels on it. You see there's also a little screw here. And that little screw is there. So, because this axis, uh, this axle, it's not round. It has one flat side here. And uh, if the screw pushes against that, the wheel cannot slip over the motor like this. It will just stay stuck with, on the axis. Now screw this one together. Maybe a bit difficult to see for the camera while screwing that one. Yep, should be all fine. Yep. And now the other one. If we put like this the screw here, I mean the wheel and the screw, then everything should be fine. Now we have the wheels covered. Now we need to put the breadboard on. So the breadboard is kind of heavy, and since the, the wheels are in the middle, uh, the heavy part will be on the floor and since we don't have um, some wheels to lift it up the, the part on the floor will be dragging so that will be the back of the robot uh, which is okay so let me put it as far away from the wheels as possible so it doesn't touch the wheels so let's use some double-sided tape here really sticky it's good for uh, mechanical support other tapes they just yeah, they they become loose really really quick but this one turns out to be really good and even though we don't always use both sides of it and one more piece on this side like that here again, so, so. And then I put it like here, like so. And then like so. And then it can't really flop anywhere. And uh, yeah, it's all pretty stable, you see? Except for the frame, of course, but it doesn't need to be more stable than this. It's pretty okay. Okay, now, this is sitting pretty good. Now let's put the electrical components on it. Hi, so this is it then for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see part two of this video. Have fun and stay tuned.